Hi guys, today we will talk about the textile industry. A textile is anything made of fibers, yarn or fabric. There are different kinds of textiles. Technical textiles, for example bulletproof jackets. Medical textiles, like medical sutures. Apparels, etc. We will focus on the apparel industry because we want to challenge the status quo. Our lifestyles have changed, but a gene is still a gene. Two, unlike other branches of textiles, every one of us is a customer in the apparel market. Three, since we are a part of this user base, we can easily relate to the innovations. Let's talk about the value chain in the textile industry. First, we have the basic raw material which we can call fibers or filaments. Synthetic fibers for first, it for example lycra, contribute 60% of the total market. Cotton, which is the most widely used natural fiber, is 38% of the total market. The three largest producers of cotton are The cotton is then transported in a compressed form, what we call a bale, to the yarn factory. The cotton bale is cleaned here and is stretched and twisted into the yarn form. This yarn then goes to the fabric manufacturing facilities where it is woven into fabrics. These fabrics are then dyed into lovely colors that then go to the garment manufacturers. The garment manufacturer uses the fabrics and other accessories like zippers and rivets to make the apparels that we all use. The finished garments then make their way to the retail store for all of us to buy. We decided to focus on the retail industry. The reasons for doing this were simple. It has the highest revenues at $1.2 billion per year. Current, the current CAGR of this is 2.8% over the last four years, and the fact that this is the highest margin that we see throughout the entire value chain. Then we took a look at the macro environment. Following a pestle analysis, our primary findings were the following. First, there appears to be varying levels of support as well as different customs regulations across geographies. Tax regulations in different markets also had a pronounced impact. Economically, rising income levels has led to two-thirds of garments being purchased in emerging markets. A pattern of rising costs alongside decreasing prices by retailers was also prevalent across markets. Socially, ethical products and changing customer demographics were the main theme. This has led to many socially responsible companies, such as Being Human. Technological advancements are becoming increasingly important in the fields of speed, mobile, e-retailing, as well as smart textiles. Environmentally, the key trends we saw were sustainability, GMOs, and new solutions to problems like organic cotton. Finally, there were legal restrictions concerning employee rights, chemicals, as well as intellectual property. We then examined the industry and applied Porter's Five Forces. We found the threat of new entrants to be low and entry barriers to be high. This was due to high economies of scale, difficulties in distribution channels, government interference, as well as differentiation. The threat of substitute products is high, with easy switching and many alternative brands. Bargaining power of suppliers, however, is low. This is attributed to mass production facilities, the location of manufacturing companies in emerging markets, as well as raw material status as commodities. The bargaining power of customers is high. This is due to low switching cost, high numbers of substitutes, and options at different price sensitivities. Finally, competitive rivalry is very high. This is due to lots of competitors and preference for various brands amongst different, different consumers. So for this reason, we decided to focus on Levi's. Why Levi's, you ask? Well, the answer is simple. First of all, the ability to challenge the status quo. Jeans don't necessarily have to be jeans. 
Secondly, the compound annual growth rate of negative 11% since 2008. Finally, this is a brand that we can relate to. Let's take a look at a SWOT analysis for this company. Some strengths include the brand, the large distribution network, as well as their ge geographical presence all across the globe. Some weaknesses include high pensions given to employees, foreign procurement dependencies, as well as limited visibility on the actual branding of products. Some opportunities include expansion, especially by part of e-retailing, and any new developments that can be made in the current clothing line. Finally, the threats include high competition, changing trends, as well as counterfeit products.